Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fly Free Nation YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the RTX 3060 Ti's. This one's a PNY version and this one's an EVGA um, XC. We're going to be going over the hash rates, the overclocks, and the profitability for these cards. We have this running off of, if you've seen my other videos, just a regular PC, HP power supply, you know, your basic risers, and yeah okay go right up to the overclocks on both of these rtx 3060 ti's oh it's a little blurry um we have it set to minus 200 to the core and a thousand plus to the memory and we have the fan speed set to 82. i know i can push these cards a little harder i know i can push it down to 60 percent power and about 1200 memory to both of those, but then we start getting some rejected shares. So I have the overclocks clocked back a little bit right now so we can get more efficiency and less rejected shares. Uh, shows right now, we've been up for about eight and a half hours and we only have one rejected share. So looks like we finally have it tuned in a little bit better. And both of these cards are getting about 59 to 60 a piece mega hash and that puts us at 119 for these two 3060 ti cards now these ones are actually really efficient if you look at these the efficiency is about 487 and if i jump right over here to to the 1060s oops bear with me um these ones are only about two to 250 inefficiency so these ones get about double the efficiency um they use about they actually get about th one of these 3060 ti's gets about three times the the hash rate as one of these 1060s and it uses just about the same amount of power because these ran at about about 90 watts around there for the 1060s and these 3060 ti's they run at about 120. You can actually crank those down to 119 watts if you have it down to 60. I have it to 62, so it's about at 123. And that seems to be the sweet spot for these cards right here. I haven't had an issue really with them. They're pretty stable. About 120 or 119 mega hash roughly. And that's looking like a dollar... Dollar thirty-five a day, or no, two thirty-five. Correction, two thirty-five, and that's actually really, really down from what the profits were about a month ago. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep on mining until Ethereum merges into proof of stake, and then uh, we're gonna figure out what the next coin we're going to mine is gonna be. I think I might move over to Ergo, but um, yeah. Uh, let me know what, what coin are you guys mining on your mining rigs right now right now all my rigs are set to ethereum and uh, i'm pulling out in bitcoin so yeah that pretty much does it for this video for the 3060 ti's really efficient cards and um yeah we're gonna slowly be trying to to um sell out this old hardware and move up to the new stuff and i know the next uh, 4000 generations should be coming up this at the end of this year, it's been rumored, so, you know, maybe we'll keep our eyes out for that, and we'll try to get something to those lines, so. Thanks, guys. This has just been an overview and an update on the mining farm. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're not already a part of the channel, please subscribe, drop a like on the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.